Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It is Sunday, the 7th of February, and I am at the top of Chapel Street and the promenade, just to give you a little update how the site looks today. I'm filming this on Sunday because there's no crew on site, and as you know from my earlier video, I told you the guys said they preferred not to be filmed. So I'm going to take a quick walk around the site today and just let you see how everything looks. I've got a few of these holes that are just fenced off in neat little squares. That one there. That's got the funnel in now. And we know from the last video that funnel is how they're pumping the concrete underground. They seem to be doing it through several different holes, which makes sense that they do it that way. Like I said, at some point they will have to close the whole promenade off and maybe pump something in over the actual road although I don't know we'll just have to wait and see but for now we can see one two three four five six seven of these little pumping stations but only the one that is active for want of a better phrase is the one with the funnel in So here we go, let's just take a walk around the entire site. That one there looks like it's been dug, but it hasn't been pumped into yet. So that one, they'll probably start on that one tomorrow. I did see the cement mixer here the other day. But I wasn't able to film the pumping in bit. But anyhow, Seeing that there's nobody here today, I'm going to walk all the way around and film the site for you. The tables there, not in use at the moment. It's a giant water bin or container, whatever you call it. let's walk around the whole fencing so you can get to see everything from all directions i have got quite a few requests to phone to phone to film at the ambassador because work has been going on last time i filmed i showed you the markings on the wall and the breeze blocks and stuff that had been moved So today I'm going to walk down there again and show you the site and you can see what's been going on. I'm going to wait here a little bit so I can get a gap in this traffic because now it looks like they do have a one-way counterflow, is that the right word? They've got the temporary traffic lights on either side. So I've just got to wait until they change and then I'll be able to cross. But for now we can walk down here because I'm on the inside of these cones. So there we go. Let's stop there. So that'll give me a nice little window just to walk safely across before the lights on the other side change. So we're across now. So yeah, you can see the site now they do have that contraflow. So looking over here, I didn't actually realise it from the other side, from the fence, but yes, that hole is actually on the road. And I said before, oh, they're going to have to put a hole in the road eventually. I didn't realise they already had one. But there you can see, that one is indeed on the southbound 
guys up the promenade. So we'll all say complete tour work on that side. I would imagine they will be keeping the wrong way traffic. I'm not sure if they'll be digging any holes on this side as well. They may do, they may not do. That one there, that's in the middle, might be enough. Or they could put a few more on that side. I would imagine pumping in from that side would pretty much give them access to all this underground. Because all this here, where I'm standing now, round about, is where the old subway ran. You see tower gifts there. Looking very pink, and pink is my favourite colour. I remember when that used to be a McDonald's. Pier staff apparently used to like that McDonald's. My brother used to work on the pier. Many years ago he worked on the waltzer. And I had a couple of friends that worked on the Dodgems as well. And the waltzer's gone now. I have had a few people asking me if the waltz is going to be replaced or if there's anything fancy going to be put there instead of the waltzer and my answer to that folks is I'm sorry I don't know I would say if you want to know peer questions and answers ask Beyond the Edge he knows his peer stuff there's a hole there so I'm not sure how many more holes I'll need to dig but that is a Chapel Street update and we can just take a little nice panorama the promenade and the seas out there come on there's a boat you probably won't be able to see it through the camera but once I get to those railings and I can balance my elbows a little bit on the railings I'm going to zoom in on that boat for you all so let's look at the big wheel and central pier while I'm walking towards the railings and then I'm going to do my best to zoom in on that big old boat out there so here we go going to lean on it. In fact, I'll probably put the camera on the railings. That makes more sense. Zoom in. A bit more. There it is. A bit more. Move the camera down a bit to improve the angle. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How is that for a zoom, folks? That is great. And you can see it's sailing through the water there. I'm very proud of my camera today for sure. That is a good zoom. That's as far as I can go in. I can't go in any further than that. But just to come out again, just to give you some perspective of how far my little old camera has indeed zoomed in, that is pretty darn impressive. The oil rigs there, I wonder if I can zoom in on that. I don't think so, but let's try. It's a lot further out. Where is it? Oil rig, where are you? Well, there we are. Ah, it's all going along. Keep still, camera, keep still. Keep still. That's this. Oh, it's all gone blurry. Oh well, I should have quit while I was ahead and just stayed zoomed in on the boat, shouldn't I? Let's go out again. we go all the way out again and I will finish this video with a wonderful pan around oops get the camera straight 
promenade, tower, giant bendy spoons, coral island, the golden mile amusements, the sea life centre, funland, the triangle slash pyramid centre, whatever that's called, the waxworks and happy days and the doggy cafe and we're going to go past Chapel Street, past the Pink Tower Gifts, Central Pier and the Big Wheel and finish where we started the pan facing the sea. So thank you so much for watching, please leave me a like and maybe subscribe. I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.